I kind of wanted to give you guys something different and um, I put this post on Facebook where I basically asked all my flight attendant friends or just all the flight attendants that work for my company what's the craziest questions you get asked by passengers and I did that post like two weeks ago to this morning I am still getting comments on that passengers ask the craziest questions so also in honor of that in honor of the big response I got from the Facebook post, I'm also going to be doing IGTV webisodes where you can ask me. You can literally ask me anything that has to do with the airlines, whether it's what's the hiring process, um, does it take long, why can't I sit in an exit row, um, just any questions that you have about the airline, and you can ask me. I'm going to make a post weekly. It's going to be ask me. You just comment your question below, and I will answer the question in my weekly webisode. So, that's exciting. So without further ado, let's jump to the video. I know you guys want to hear these questions. Okay, so the first question um, is pretty disgusting, but <laughs> um, it's kind of funny. So flight attendant wrote, um, a passenger asked her, can he have her earring to clean his the gunk out of his phone? Dude, that is gross. No, I'm wearing these earrings. Um, Next question. I have them all written down here. These questions are completely hilarious. Um, a nervous passenger asks, did the pilots get enough sleep? As a flight attendant, there's no way for me to know the answer to that question. And I can't even imagine like what her face was like or his face was like when the passenger asked that question. The pilots and the flight attendants don't sleep together. We all get our own rooms. Um, we... My company, our flight attendants and pilots don't even stay in the same hotel. So honestly, unless like I was to go up and ask the pilot, like there's no way that a flight attendant would know if a pilot got enough sleep. I would hope so, um, that he wouldn't show up to work ill rested, but there's just no way for us to know the answer to that question. Can I open a window? Okay guys, at 30,000 feet, there's a lot of air pressure. If you open a window, you're going to go out of it. <laughs> it's just... If it's a little warm, let the flight attendant know. We can adjust the temperature, but you just, you can't. You, you can't open a window. Um, you just can't. I'm sorry. Do you guys have normal tap water? I get this question so often, partly because my airline does not serve free water, and you do have to buy it, but other airlines get this question too. Where does tap water come from, guys? comes from a tap if we're flying 30,000 feet in the sky where where is the tap gonna like where's the water gonna come from 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 the tap okay moving on um <laughs> this is a funny one I get this one a lot too where's the ladies slash men's room 2018 and way before I don't think that bathrooms were ever gender specific when it comes to airlines because only one person can fit in the bathroom. So the bathrooms are equipped equipped to fit either female or males. They're not gender specific, so you could just go into anyone that's open. Okay? All right. Why is the plane flying backwards? It's not. The the I I actually googled this question and there was no answer to this question. I'm sure if you ask a pilot um they probably could give you the answer to why it feels like the plane is flying backwards, but the planes, planes can't go backwards. I mean, I think that they can, but it would it would take a lot. But planes don't they don't they don't go backwards, guys. They don't. <laughs> can the pilot stop the shaking? Only God can stop the shaking, guys. When there's turbulence in the sky, the only person that can stop the turbulence is God. Because there are air pockets that we're going through that's causing the aircraft to shake. It's bad weather. I do know that pilots do their best to fly in clear air. And they try to go around the, the bumpy air as much as possible. But the only person that can stop the bumps is God. Like, that's it. <laughs> the pilots really have no control over it. And the pilots also have to, like, ask air traffic control. Is it okay if I fly here at this level? Um... You know, they, there's a lot, like, the pilot has to, 
he has no control over the boat. Only God can help can help us at that point. Okay. So during a major medical, and not all medicals have to, you don't always have to divert. But during a major medical, a passenger was like in a rush to get to wherever they were going. Something was happening to another passenger that the plane had to divert. This passenger says, why are we diverting? Can you not just keep him alive for the next hour? No, guys, like, it doesn't work that way. If something happens and a passenger is in a life or death situation, we have to land the plane immediately to get this person some help. Like, we understand that you want to get to your destinations, but at what cost? We just want everybody to arrive alive like they boarded. <laughs> so, no, if there's ever a, a major medical and they, the pilots are advised to divert to the nearest airport, we have to go to the nearest airport. We're gonna get you to your destination eventually, but we just have to drop this person off and get them medical emergency. I mean, medical help. I mean, oh my gosh, so this person commented this question and I was just like, I can't believe somebody asked that. But this, somebody literally just asked me this question on this trip that I'm on right now, the first leg. So this passenger boards the plane and he's like, where we going guys and so the pilots are out there and I'm up front because I'm flying D and I'm like hopefully you know where, where where's your destination sir and he's like you guys are going to LA right and we're like yeah we're going to LA he's like can you guys drop me off in Vegas and we all started laughing because we thought it was like a joke and he was really serious and he was like no can you can you drop me off in Vegas on the way to LA no sir we can't you can catch a flight to Vegas if you'd like, but like, we can't like stop, let one passenger off. You know, like we'd never get to our destination if we were taking people. It just, it just doesn't work, it doesn't work. So if you want to go to a certain destination, you have to take a flight to that destination or go to the airport that's closest to that destination but we cannot drop you off mid-flight at another destination. Like, if we're going to LA, we're only we're not gonna stop until we get to LA. Um, I just and it took us a minute to explain that to him, but I think he didn't quite understand because he asked another flight attendant. But um, it just it just eventually he got it, guys. If we're going to LA. We're not gonna stop until we get to LA. Now, sometimes we do have connecting flights where we go to Vegas and then LA, but it would say that on, on your boarding pass. So, yeah, no, we can't drop you off at your specific destination. It just doesn't happen that way. Can I use the life vest as a pillow? No, in the event of emergency, on the next flight, what is that passenger gonna use? Yeah. We need those on the plane in case of an emergency. Once you inflate it, like, there needs to be another one put in there. Like, no, you can't use it for a pillow. Nah. How does cabin pressure affect flight attendants' poop? Doesn't, um, we go to the bathroom normally. Um, cabin pressure, pressurization, it does have an effect on our bodies it does add a little wear and tear and it can make us really tired but it is yet to cause problems with my intestines and how often I go and um, I just don't think that it really affects our our intestines that often it makes us tired because of, like the different oxygen levels and things like that but like I mean thanks for asking but poop, pooping is pretty normal for us as well <laughs> if you sit towards the wings you can kind of like hear the engine so some people ask what's that noise this particular passenger said um, the flight attendant was like oh that's the engine the passenger proceeded to say can we turn it off do you want to die no 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 we can't turn it off we need it to get to our destination without the engine the plane is gonna fall like it's yeah I don't know a lot do flight attendants sleep on the plane? No, we do not. We get put in hotel rooms um, at the destination, at our last destination of the, the evening or the day. We do not sleep on the planes. That would be very uncomfortable and I'm pretty sure 
a lot of people wouldn't do this job this is my absolute favorite question i literally died so this guy a uh, male flight attendant is walking through the aisles a very nervous woman asked him um if the plane crashed right now would you go to heaven or to hell what i would hope i would go to heaven but i don't know i mean no one knows until and then there's no way for me to relay that information to you once it happens but we're just gonna pray that like we don't crash in the meantime does that does that work does, does that work yeah yeah okay okay why are we not flying that was that was mentioned people asked why are we not flying mid-flight um i know we're not flying because i've been looking at the same cloud for the last hour sir what, what are we all doing here then or ma'am what are we do you think we're are we driving there because I feel like there will be a lot more bumps along the way. Like, I don't know. But people ask all the time, why are we not flying? Once the boarding doors are closed and the plane takes off, I promise you guys, we're in the air and we're on the way to that destination. Like, how do you explain getting to the destination once you get there? Like, how did you... And the crazy thing is, like, we were going to an island. Like, we weren't, like, going to somewhere that was, like local or like in the same country we were going to an island like dude we're flying okay anyway so i hope you guys enjoyed those questions i hope you guys tune into my ig webisodes thank you so much for tuning in bye